This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. Omega is recognized worldwide for its quality craftsmanship, innovation, and contributions to horology. It remains a sought-after luxury watch brand among enthusiasts and collectors, and one of their remarkable watch collections is the Omega Speedmaster. The Speedmaster's history is intertwined with significant moments in human exploration, making it not only a remarkable timekeeping instrument, but also a symbol of human achievement and progress. In today's video brought to you by the luxury world, we will be providing you the 10 essential insights about the iconic Omega Speedmaster that you should be aware of. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, we encourage you to do so now to stay informed about our future videos. Omega in Space the Speedmaster was officially selected by NASA for all men's space missions after successfully passing a series of rigorous tests, earning it the title of flight qualified by NASA for all men's space missions. Designated as NASA's official watch, the Omega Speedmaster, in its diverse forms, has ventured into space on numerous occasions. Its journey spans not only the Apollo program, but also includes missions on the Space Shuttle, repairs of the Hubble Space Telescope, voyages on Soyuz spacecraft, missions to the International Space Station, and worn by astronauts from a multitude of nationalities. This remarkable history culminates in a staggering count of 665 documented instances of Omega watches being worn in space. The Moon Watch Omega is famous for its association with space exploration, particularly the Omega Speedmaster, which was worn by astronauts during NASA's Apollo missions, including the moon landing. The Omega Speedmaster is the only watch to have been worn on the moon. It accompanied astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin during the historic Apollo 11 mission in 1969. The first Speedmaster worn in space was chosen by NASA astronaut Walter Shearer for his 1962 mission. During that period, NASA had not yet designated an official watch, allowing astronauts to select their timepieces. Subsequently, NASA subjected several watches to rigorous tests to determine their suitability for space use. Surprisingly, the Omega Speedmaster emerged as the sole watch to withstand these tests. Since NASA had locally acquired these watches, Omega's Swiss headquarters remained unaware of the official selection until they saw images of the Speedmaster worn by astronaut Ed White during the first American spacewalk in 1965. The watch that's been to space. Chosen by NASA for its exceptional durability and precision, the Speedmaster has accompanied astronauts on various historic missions, including the Apollo program and beyond. Its distinction as the first watch worn on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969 solidified its reputation as an iconic symbol of human achievement and exploration. The Omega Speedmaster's journey to space is a testament to its reliability, accuracy, and enduring connection to the realm of space exploration. Over time, Omega has introduced various versions of the Speedmaster for NASA's official use during manned space missions. When the traditional mechanical moon watch became outdated, Omega innovated by creating the Speedmaster X33. This watch incorporated a blend of analog and digital features, equipping NASA astronauts with advanced capabilities like mission timers, time zones, and countdown timers, aligning with the evolving needs of the Space Shuttle era. The Speedmaster X33 holds the distinction of being the most frequently worn watch in space, with an astounding documented count of 369 instances. This figure highlights the Speedmaster X33 exceptional reliability and its continuous presence alongside astronauts during their journeys beyond Earth's atmosphere. The Z33 In 2012, Omega introduced the Z33, a significant advancement in the Speedmaster lineage and considered the most technologically advanced model. This newer iteration was a larger successor to the reliable X33 Speedmaster. The Z33 incorporated a distinctive red inverted digital display position beneath its analog hands. Along with retaining features from the previous version, the Z33 introduced several novel additions to its collection. These included the ability to program up to 10 pilot logs, encompassing information like date and hour indications, along with an auto-dimming display. Encased within a 70s-style titanium case, the Z33 boasted substantial dimensions, measuring an impressive 53 by 43 millimeters. However, despite its remarkable features, the Z33 has already been discontinued from Omega's offerings. Omega saved Apollo. The Omega Speedmaster played a crucial role in the rescue of Apollo 11 and 13 missions. It is widely recognized that during the ill-fated Apollo 13 mission, when an ordinary adjustment of an oxygen tank resulted in an explosion in the service module, the Omega Speedmaster proved invaluable. 
It was utilized to time a critical burn that guided the spacecraft back to Earth. This watch was employed for multiple burns, contributing significantly to the crew's safe return. The Speedmaster also had a role in ensuring the safety of the Apollo 11 crew. While Neil Armstrong, the first person to set foot on the moon, did not have his Speedmaster on during his historic moonwalk, Buzz Aldrin, who followed him, wore the watch. This decision was influenced by Armstrong's choice to keep his Speedmaster inside the lunar module. This allowed Armstrong's Speedmaster to serve as a substitute for the malfunctioning mission timer, thereby aiding the mission's success. The Snoopy Award The Omega Speedmaster's significance extends to earning Omega the prestigious Snoopy Award from NASA. NASA has held an affection for the Peanuts comic strip characters for some time. The story behind this award traces back to the Apollo 10 mission, during which the crew performed a test flight around the moon, simulating a landing. The lunar module, which did not land but came close, was humorously nicknamed Snoopy, while the command module was dubbed Charlie Brown. In recognition of exceptional performance during missions, NASA created the Snoopy Award. This award is bestowed upon individuals and organizations that demonstrate excellence in mission-related tasks. Recipients are presented with a Snoopy badge that has traveled to space. Omega received the Snoopy Award due to its vital contribution to the successful resolution of the Apollo 13 mission. The Speedmaster's critical role in timing the trajectory adjustments that brought the crew safely back to Earth earned Omega this esteemed accolade from NASA. Space Repair In a remarkable incident, an Omega Speedmaster underwent repairs while aboard the International Space Station. This incident occurred in 2002 when astronaut Don Pettit's Speedmaster X-33 experienced a malfunction. The watch's crown came loose and one of the pushers detached. With no alternative, Pettit embarked on repairing the watch during his six-month stay on the ISS. Performing this repair served not only to restore the watch, but also to demonstrate the precision achievable in the zero-gravity environment of space. To ensure that the watch components did not drift away in microgravity, Pettit ingeniously employed adhesive tape. Despite the absence of specialized tools, Pettit's resourcefulness exemplified the adaptability needed in space. In his words, the right tool is any tool that can effectively accomplish the task at hand, even if it is not the conventional choice. Gold Speedmaster To honor the achievements of the Apollo 11 mission, Omega crafted a special limited edition set of Gold Speedmaster watches. These exclusive timepieces were intended as gifts for individuals who played pivotal roles in the Apollo program. The set, numbering 10-14 pieces, highlighted a lavish all-gold construction for both the case and dial. Among the recipients were the astronauts involved in the mission, with 19 of these unique watches given to them. Notably, Neil Armstrong, the first person to set foot on the moon, continued to wear his watch even during his tenure as a professor at the University of Cincinnati. Another individual chosen to receive this commemorative timepiece was President Richard Nixon. However, President Nixon declined the offer, citing the watch's high expense as the reason. Despite the prestigious nature of the gift, the president deemed it too costly to accept. Sunproof Speedmaster The Omega Speedmaster underwent continuous refinement to meet NASA's evolving demands, adapting to scenarios like potential moon emissions carried out in the searing heat of the sun, where atmospheric protection is absent. Engineers at NASA held concerns about the watch's ability to endure the blazing 250-degree heat, apprehending failure. To counter this, a specialized case module was ingeniously devised to shield the watch from the intense heat. Referred to as the Alaska 2 project, this protective case encompassed the Speedmaster. The outer casing, crafted from red anodized aluminum, acted as insulation against the sun's radiant energy. Despite the shield, the watch's dial remained exposed, visible through a window in the protective covering. To further mitigate heat absorption, the dial was painted white, aiding in reflecting the sun's heat and minimizing the temperature impact on the timepiece. This ingenuity exemplified the collaborative effort between Omega and NASA to adapt the Speedmaster for the most challenging of space conditions. The Moon Swatch If acquiring a Moon Watch seems financially daunting due to its typical excessive cost, Omega has devised a solution in partnership with the budget-friendly watch manufacturer Swatch. Together, they crafted an alternative version of the Moon Watch, which comes in at a mere $250. This model, named the Moon Swatch, maintains identical proportions to its pricier counterpart, allowing for interchangeable straps. The Moon Swatch collection offers a range of colors, each themed after different planets. What are some interesting facts about the Omega Speedmaster that you find captivating? Please share your comments and opinions in the comments section below.
If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you let us know by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up. Do not forget to follow our channel for more content. Thank you for watching The Luxury World, and we look forward to having you join us in our upcoming videos.